I'd like to take just a few minutes of your time and tell you about our exciting product, Emergency Aware. This is for INF 430, the Distracted Driver Group for Technology, Innovations, and Entrepreneurial Leadership. I am Corey, and I have been privileged to work with Patrick, Stacy, Colette, Jacob, Sajed, Devin, and Michael. And I'm privileged to take just a few minutes of your time and tell, talk to you about all of our hard work and what we have developed for this product, Emergency Aware. I have a question for you. How quickly do you want your loved ones helped in an emergency? This is kind of a no-brainer. All of us will answer as quickly as possible, please. This is something that we know we would like emergency responders to be able to respond to us quickly. Unfortunately, the data I will share with you shows that there are some problems with this. So we desire to help first responders respond faster. It's our mission to get emergency first responders to their destination safely and without obstruction in order to increase the overall health and safety of the public. The problem is that we are too distracted while driving and we do not notice first responders. I'm sure you can think of a time when you were driving and you did not notice the emergency vehicle with sirens blazing until they were very close. I know that I have and I have wished that I would have responded more quickly. First responders must put their lives in danger to get to emergencies quickly. The fact that I might have contributed to an extended uh, response time when someone was having an emergency is a very chilling thought. Our solution is a device and a corresponding service that allows first responders to broadcast their whereabouts as they move on the route towards their destination. That broadcast will be received so that everyone around knows exactly where that emergency response vehicle is and what they can do to contribute to a lower response time. The sad fact is that average response times per state are much higher than we would want if we were dealing with an emergency. The average response time in our nation is 15 minutes. That is just too long. Kansas finds itself in the five longest response times in those states with a 21 minute average response time. This is too long and we want to work to resolve that. Another factor that we sometimes take for granted is these responders are putting their own lives in jeopardy. Firefighter deaths by type of duty in 2018, 16% of them were killed responding to or returning from alarms. That is just too high of a number. So how does our device work? Our minimum viable product is a device installed in emergency vehicles. This device uses GPS, Bluetooth, and geofencing technologies to broadcast a signal when an emergency vehicle is nearby. The signal communicates with traffic signals to literally give emergency vehicles the green light. This also works much like an amber alert to raise the awareness of the driver in the vicinity of this emergency vehicle to slow down and yield to the emergency vehicle. The signal that is being broadcast can be received by a cell phone user so that passengers in the car could, re to, could alert the driver. It could be received by the onboard smart car GPS system. It could be received by a GPS app that we all know that we use. These things all work together to provide a quicker response time in time of an emergency. Emergency aware servers are also a large part of this minimum viable product, as well as our technical and customer support personnel for emergency aware users. So the first wave will be these, these responders, these emergency um, workers. Then the, the secondary users of our system will be those that are receiving these signals. We are going to be working with vehicle communication services such as OnStar, we are going to be working with navigation apps such as Waze and the other apps that we use. Cell phone carriers also. We also, and most um, the beginning stages of our product, we'll be working with municipalities. We will be giving some municipalities um, a free use of this to gather important data. Some of the data we've already gathered show that over 60% of drivers do not immediately see these emergency responder vehicles and 96% of drivers that we surveyed have encountered an emergency vehicle and wish they knew they were coming sooner. Over 80% of drivers we've talked to 
would subscribe to the service or buy a device with the service built in. This brings us to our Lean Canvas, and we talked about all of the different ways that we can let this product make a big change in the problem that we are seeing. As I said before, the first wave of users for our product would be these local or state municipalities that will be providing their police cars, their fire trucks, their ambulance services with this device so that they will be able to let others know the, their whereabouts when they're responding to an emergency. These first users will be receiving a free trial for six months. This gives them access to the device, to the support. This will get, give us the chance to gather very important data. Because these users are very specific, we had to be very specific with thinking about how to get the data that would be most meaningful as we scale this to reach other communities and other applications for this. The cost structure we're going to be dealing with would include the salary for software engineers to develop this prototype to maintain the application, the hosting service for our servers, and other staff such as management, marketing, um, like I said, the customer service and the technical aspect. The revenue stream that we are looking forward to developing is this subscription-based service, and this will be based on the size of the municipalities. The way then that we can step into a different level would be to also have revenue streams coming from the vehicle communication services, vehicle manufacturers, the navigation apps, um, possibly using some advertising with those kinds of, of applications. The use of this data, the use of this kind of technology, very um, coordinated together, that is a big advantage that our product has. These technologies being coordinated together to really respond to uh, the problem of distracted driving in the case of an emergency response vehicle. It's not being done. It's not something that, that we have seen in our research. As a conclusion, I would just love to thank you for taking the time to review our product, to listen to this presentation. And I would hope that you are as excited as we are at the potential for emergency aware to make a real solution to a 